Hi, this is Seren from the 3D Applications team. The image type processing workroom is a very intuitive and optimized 2D setup to enhance and segment data in Aviso and Amira. The image type processing module allows the creation and execution of image processing recipes to process an image stack in 2D, meaning that each image of the stack is processed individually. The Image Stack Processing Editing Workroom features an interactive and dynamic editing environment, giving constant feedback about the recipe being built. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Image Stack Processing Workroom and build an Image Stack Processing recipe. This tutorial is split into three lessons. In the first lesson, you will learn how to access the workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps. First, we will see how to open the Image Stack Processing Workroom from the main project workroom. From the main Aviso project workroom, open the data chocolatebar.am from the Tutorials folder and chocolatebar.nowgetinvert.am from the ISP folder. Right-click on the chocolatebar.am data module displayed in the pool and select Image Stack Processing from the object pop-up. Select the module and in the Properties panel click Create Workflow of the Action Port. The Image Stack Processing workroom opens with the reference data being displayed on the left and right viewers. We will now see how to manipulate the viewers available in the Image Stack Processing Workroom. The Image Stack Processing Workroom is set up with two viewers in a horizontal layout. By default, the left viewer displays the selected step input and the right viewer displays the selected step output. The cameras of the two viewers are always synchronized. The viewer mode can be changed with the view combo box. Any view can be set up with the step input, default of the left viewer, the step output, default of the right viewer, the workflow input or the workflow output. By default, when the output of a step is a binary or a label image, it is automatically blended with the last grayscale image of the stack. Evaluate the value of a pixel under the mouse with the Quick Prop tool. We can create snapshots of the views using the Snapshot tool. Note that the Capture All Viewers checkbox will allow creating a snapshot of only one or both viewers. We will now start creating our workflow. At first, we want to create a mask of the NowGet phase. The mechanism of adding a tool is as simple as selecting the tool in the tool browser. This action will add the tool in the workflow panel and automatically apply it on the output of the preceding step with its default parameters. One can then test the parameterization and see the effect on the data. Convert the 16-bit data to 8-bit. This first step is necessary for some filters to run. In the Module Browser window, either go to the Convert directory or select the Convert Image Type module or type its name in the Quick Search shortcut. Once selected, a step is added in the workflow. It is automatically selected and the module properties are displayed in the Properties panel. At the same time, the module is automatically applied to the last output step, which is the original data reference data in this case. Its result is displayed in the right viewer. Change the scale port to 0 0.1. The right viewer is updated with the changes. We will now add several tools to the workflow in order to build a mask for the NowGet phase. A thresholding to roughly select NowGet. Set the intensity range to 51 to 98. an erosion to erode selection, and a reduce noise around the chocolate bar. Set the type to disk and size to 1. A remove small spots to eliminate caramel residuals. Set size to 200. A dilation to over delay the selection. This will fill holes and smooth boundaries. Set size to 12. 
another erosion to reroad selection and go back to the original data shape, but without holes this time. Set size to 9. Our mask is now ready. We will use it to segment the porosity within the no gut phase in the next lesson. As a summary, in this lesson, you should have learned how to access the image tag processing workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps. In the next two lessons, you will learn how to change the reference, insert steps, inspect a different slice of the data, save the image tag processing recipe and quit the workroom, export multiple outputs, remove or replace steps and manage errors, add external inputs to the workflow, export workflow parameters for easy access from the image tag processing module, use the image tag processing recipe from the project room. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and I hope to see you back again soon. Goodbye!